a special vlog for you today. As you can tell, something's a little different about me. I may have a giant bath towel around my head. Maybe I just got out of the shower. I'm super excited because I'm changing things up a little bit today. Instead of kind of our day-to-day -day life vlog, I decided to do a special vlog about something that kind of a sensitive subject for me. I think it's a sensitive subject for a lot of women. I wanted to talk about hair and hair care. I've gotten a lot of questions over our videos about my hair. I thought it'd be super fun just to chit chat a little bit about hair and kind of my journey with my hair because it's a little bit of a unique one you guys I'm not gonna lie and then I thought I would also talk about kind of just some products that I've used let me forewarn you I'm not an esthetician I'm not a cosmetologist so this isn't expert advice but I just thought I would share what I have found helpful along my way when it comes to my hair a lot of these things are things that I've come upon that have really helped my hair and changed my hair if I would have found out about these a while back I feel like I would have had better hair earlier on and I would have been so happy. I would love to hear your ideas as well. So I'm in my tiny little bathroom, you guys, as you can tell. I have to show you my setup though because it's so funny. So I was trying to see how I can put the camera down and I needed something to stay on my camera on. So I got my blender and I got a game. So I'm gonna be setting the camera up on here. I thought, why don't we start about talking about washing your hair and what you do. I think there's a lot of debate out there about how often you should wash your hair, how good it is on your hair to wash it. What I have found, you guys, I wash my hair about three times a week because I do work out a lot, I get sweaty, it gets gross, so I do like to wash it. I don't wash it every day. I think it is safe to say that when you do wash it every day, it can dry it out because it strips all the oils in your hair. That's kind of what I have found, so I, generally wash my hair about two to three times a day. Now, hair products. What shampoo, what conditioner is the best for your hair? There are hundreds, probably thousands of different types of shampoo and conditioners out there. There's a lot of back and forth on, you know, there's the really high end type of products that you get from salons that are more professional grade, right? And then there's those type of brands that you can just go pick up at the grocery store, right? Kind of the more of the Pantene's, like the Garnier's, Dove, things like that. And to be honest, you guys, I think it matters to a point, but I think there's more important things that matter than what you wash your hair with. Kind of like what I was talking about, how often you're washing your hair, how much heat you're putting on your hair. I think for me, that is the biggest factor in the health of my hair is the amount of heat I'm putting on it every day. I do think certain products do make my hair feel a different way, different textures. What I'm currently using, you guys, is a product called Biolage. Now, now, this is what my hair girl recommended about a year and a half ago. I told her how I didn't want to spend, you know, 40, 50 bucks on shampoo and conditioner. And she was like, do you know what a great option is? Is Biolage. They sell this at most major grocery stores. It isn't going to be your five, seven dollar bottle. This runs you more about 15 to 20 dollars. I have found a major difference in my hair since I started using this brand. I have really liked it. I've enjoyed it. Right now, I use the Hydro Source because my hair does tend to get more dry. I do bleach my hair blonde, so it's more dry. So I do like to put a lot of conditioning things into it to help with that. So this is the Hydro Source. And then I also really like, this is called the Volume Bloom Shampoo. And this gives my hair a lot of volume, which I really like too. After I get out of the shower, I always usually wrap up my hair to towel dry it because like I said, I like to put as less heat on it as possible. So after it's dried, this is falling out. It's getting super heavy, can you tell? I'm just gonna unwrap this. Woo. As you can tell, it's starting to really dry. And you guys, my hair, it's so interesting. I do kind of have natural curl to my hair. Like when I'm out at the ocean and at the beach in different places, my hair will kind of get beach wavy, which I really like. Here in Utah, it doesn't do that though. Like right now, it kind of looks beach wavy, kind of fun. But when it dries and I blow dry it, it goes pretty straight. It kind of has a little bit of a wave too, but it's not like the pretty wave. I really wish it was curly because I think that's so pretty. What I usually do, another one of my favorite products that I found that I really, really like that you can just get from any grocery store is called It's a 10. And this is the Miracle Leave-In product. Honestly, all I do is as soon as I take off my towel, I just spray this 
kind of all over. Next thing is my brush. Another little trick I found is have you guys seen these dry wet brushes? It has these bristles in it that are meant to brush through wet hair. Now, my mom always taught me to start on the ends of your hair when you are brushing out, especially when it's wet. She said if you start up here and it's all tangly, it's gonna pull your hair out. Hopefully that's true, I don't know. That's how I've always brushed my hair. I always start on the ends like this. And you guys, that product, it literally just makes it so smooth. It lets you get through the tangles. Because my hair is longer, it does get tangly. So I really like to use a leave-in product. While I'm brushing this out, I thought I would tell you a story that I can now laugh about. At the time, I could not laugh about it. So this was when Jared and I first were dating and Jared was gonna come out to see me during the 4th of July. I was so excited. So of course I was like, oh, I gotta go get my hair done. So I go to get my hair done. The girl who is doing it, whatever she put on my hair, it came out kind of orangey instead of blonde, like the whitish blonde. I just about died. I was supposed to see Jared the next day and she's like, don't worry, you know, I'll fix it. She put on it a very strong blonde. I think it's called a double processor. Maybe some of you hair girls out there know what it is. Anyways, it was a very strong blonde. It was right after she first colored it. So right after she put on the second to fix it, you guys, it definitely came out blonde, but right along my part, it broke it off completely off. The hair was literally like this long. It felt like a buzzed head all along my part because either she left it all in too long or it was too strong. My hair couldn't handle it and it just broke off all along the top of my head. I was crying. She was crying. Hair to girls is a big deal. Hair, I feel like really affects you. I was like, what am I gonna do? All I could do was part it further over to kind of cover up where it hit. But you guys, I can't tell you how many literally years, still to this day, I still have kind of a shorter top layer. I'm sure a lot of you guys have had hair disaster stories like that too. I would love to hear about them down below, but definitely you have to be careful when coloring your hair and making sure you're taking care of it. I'm gonna finish brushing out my hair and then I will show you the next product that I always put into my hair. So usually after I get my leave-in all brushed through, the next product I usually will use, depending on if I'm gonna be putting heat on it, I will just let it air dry from here. This one is one I've been using at last. I've probably had this for the last three, four months. This brand is called Kerastase. So I've been trying it, I really like it. I feel like it does help my hair with heat. I would recommend using a heat protectant if you are putting heat on your hair. I don't know about you, but my hair around my face, kind of right through here, is generally where I usually have to put some heat on because it just goes wavy. It drives me nuts, but it just goes wavy there. So I usually put heat on there and that's probably the most unhealthy part of my hair is right around my face because that's where I put the most heat on it. You guys don't know about me is for years I wore hair extensions you guys I would get the hair extensions that they would braid a little braid here and then they'd sew in the weft into your hair and it literally destroyed my hair and the thing is my hair would just break off and I would get more and more self-conscious about it so I would keep wearing the hair extensions. But eventually, you guys, at one point, my hair was literally to here. It was super thin. It was just so bad. They were just a terrible thing on my hair. It just broke it off and it really ruined my hair. And I was really self-conscious for years about it. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you in on my top secret for growing my hair long. And I kid you not, once I started taking these, you guys, I saw the biggest change in the length of my hair. And I'm not being sponsored for any of these products. I just want, to say that it's generally products that I found that have made a difference that I want to share because it's really changed kind of my self-confidence, especially when it came to my hair. So this is Nature's Bounty. It's called Hair, Skin, and Nail Gummies. 
Now, you guys may have seen these. They sell these everywhere. They are these hair gummies, you guys, that are made with biotin. I decided I needed to try it. Heard that biotin helped your hair grow. I did a lot of research and I read some reviews about these and they were inexpensive, they tasted good. And so I have been taking these for the last year and I kid you not, my hair has grown so much and it grows so fast. I take four of these a day. I think the recommended serving is two, but it's extra biotin gummy nutrients, whatever. So I take four, literally four a day. They taste great and I think they have just made the biggest difference. I will try and have Jared link these in the description. Super cheap, you guys, and literally game changer when it comes to hair. So just for a little recap, my tips when it comes to hair, forget the heat, only wash when you need to, use a heat protectant when you do use heat on your hair, definitely try and let it air dry, as well as drink water and then take a biotin supplement of some sort. That's just my input, you guys. Like I said, it's just what I found has worked for me. Hopefully you guys can try some of these things Comment down below any thoughts you have, any tips you've learned along the way. Because like I said, we all have different hair types. We all have different genetics, different things that deal with hair. But in general, I think those are all ones that can apply to almost everyone. I did want to mention you guys something kind of exciting. I am launching a new Instagram account, you guys. And it is called Beautifully Bingham. And it is going to be focused on all things beautiful in life. So everything from beauty, different skincare, hair care products, to recipes that you can create with your family, for your family. I'm gonna talk a lot about fitness and health. I'm gonna talk a lot about home projects and decor, decorating. I'm gonna give a lot of event tips, you guys. So it's gonna be kind of a combination of really fun topics. I'm really excited to share it with you guys. It's been something that I've thought about doing for a few years now. I've had people tell me all the time, Brittany, you should really start, you know, kind of an event page or something like that. I have a lot of different passions, you guys. So I'm excited to share Beautifully Bingham with all of you. So go check it out. Follow me over on Instagram at Beautifully Bingham. I'm going to start posting over there and it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me tonight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little out of the ordinary vlog about all things hair. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up for good hair care. Make sure you are subscribed. If you're not, turn on that notification bell. You know the drill. You guys, we love you. I love reading all of your comments. I love being part of this YouTube community and family. You guys just really brighten our day, so thank you. And as always, you guys, we will see you next time. Bye.